Hello everyone and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to do a web conference or webinar using Zoom with great audio quality. A big challenge that many people face when they do webinars or web conferences is that the sound quality is not great or they experience all sorts of audio problems. On this video, I will show you how to set up your audio correctly for Zoom, get stereo sound if you want to stream a music webinar, and make sure that everything looks and more importantly, sounds perfect. So let me show you how you do it. So to begin with, let's talk about what you will need in order to perform a webinar or a web conference. Of course, you will need a computer, desktop or laptop, it doesn't really matter. They will both do the job very well. You need an audio interface. In this case, I'm using the UR22C from Steinberg. This is an interface that has two mic preamps, which means I can have two microphones, I can connect instruments, all these things, and it has some features that are really important when you want to do a webinar or a web conference. The third thing, of course, is the microphone, and I totally recommend that you have a good quality microphone if you want to have high quality sound for your webinars. Now, I have a couple of options to show you later on. This is a condenser microphone, and this that you're hearing right now is a lav mic, and I'm going to show you how they sound and what are the pros and cons for each microphone. The fourth thing is headphones. I would totally suggest that you use headphones when you're doing webinars or web conferences. It saves you a lot of trouble because there is not going to be any feedback, any echoes, any unpleasant noise. Headphones will help you get a cleaner sound every time. So unless you absolutely don't want to use headphones, I would suggest that you use them every single time. So let me show you how you can set up everything so that you'll be ready to go. The first thing I would suggest is to install the latest drivers for your audio interface. Once you do this, you just connect your audio interface to your computer, and now we're ready to connect our mic, our headphones, and be ready to go. So I'm going to connect my microphone first. I'm going to take the cable and connect it to the first preamp. And now, because this is a condenser microphone, we need to power it using phantom power. And there's a switch in the back. We turn it on and we get the LED light going, and that means that the microphone is powered. This microphone from Steinberg also has an LED light in the front so that you can see if it's powered or not. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my headphones. So now we're ready to go. Now all I need to do is wear my headphones, and now I can get the levels for my microphone. Now, in order to do this in the best possible way and in order to set up everything, have all the settings ready in order to do a webinar with Zoom, I would totally suggest that you use the DSP Mix FX app, which you can download for free. It actually gets installed along with the drivers. So now that I've loaded the app, I can actually change my gain level on my mic. And as you can see, one, two, three, I can get a nice level. I'm aiming around minus six dB, as you can see right here so that I have a little bit of headroom if I go a little bit louder at some point. Now, one thing that is really handy with the UR22C is that it has hands-on control in the front panel. So in this case, I have the mono button engaged. Why? Because I want my mic to be heard on both left and right channels. If I turn it off, check what happens. So now we only hear my voice on the left channel. And this is very useful sometimes, especially if you connect keyboards and synthesizers that they have left and right channels. But in case of a microphone, I want to turn it into mono. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can blend between my microphone input and when I turn it all the way to DAW, I will be able to hear all the audio coming out of my system, like my DAW, Spotify, whatever app I have on, and I can blend between them. So you will see that once I go all the way to DAW, you won't be able to hear me. So I'm going to set it at 12 o'clock so I have 50% signal from my input and 50% from my DAW and my system audio. Now that we've done all this, let me show you a few more things that can improve your audio when you do your webinar. The first thing that I would do if you're just recording your voice is I would turn on the high pass filter. This will get rid of any unwanted rumble or low end that will basically make your audio worse. Now the next thing that you can do is you can add a channel strip. Now the channel strip that we have on the UR22C is DSP powered, which means that it's real time, there is no latency, and it can give you a great sound very, very quickly. Because you have this morphing channel strip, as you can see, I can morph between different compression and EQ settings. And this sound that we set up right here is the sound that we're going to broadcast when we go live during our webinar. So let me set up a sound here. Let me go a little bit like this. 
Um, this is nice. It gives me a little bit of low end as well. So I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit. Of course, you can customize everything to your liking. So I can go a little bit less with the top end. I liked this as a starting point and now I'm just tweaking it. And maybe I want to turn down the drive on the compressor. This is really nice. So as you can see, I can get a sound very, very quickly. Now you can even add reverb to your voice. As you can see, this is more useful, of course, if you're a singer and you want to broadcast your performance. We also have settings for our reverb right here. But for now, I'm going to leave everything in neutral and I'm going to show you one last really important thing that you need to check before you go live on a webinar. And that's the loopback button. This you need to make sure that it's on and it's activated, not only because your audience will be able to hear these nice effects that I showed you that you can add to your voice but it's extremely crucial so that people can also hear the sound coming out of your system like your DAW if you're doing a music webinar or your sound from Spotify anything that's system related you need to have loopback activated so that your audience can hear it now before we go ahead and jump into zoom I want to talk a little bit about microphones right here I'm using the Steinberg ST M01 microphone from the UR22C recording pack and the headphones as well by the way so this is the sound that comes out of the Steinberg ST M01 microphone and as you can hear it's a very focused a very clean sound and the closer I get to the mic we get something that's called proximity effect, which means that I get a nice low end. This mic sounds really, really good, but the thing is that you have to be close to it, and if you move a little bit, you know, it will reject all the audio that's coming around it because it's a cardioid mic. Now, for some people, this will work great, and this will give you a great audio quality, but sometimes you might need to have a little bit of freedom of movement. You might want to move around without having fluctuations in your audio level. In this case, a lav mic might be a good option for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect my Steinberg microphone and connect my lav mic instead so we can hear the difference. So now we're listening to the sound from my lavalier mic, which is also wireless. And as you can see, even if I move around, there's no big fluctuation in the audio. Now this is great, but sometimes the issue with microphones like this is that they're omnidirectional, so they will pick up more ambient noise, where a microphone like this is cardioid, which means that it picks up the sound only in the front. This picks up the sound from all around you. So keep that in mind, think what you wanna do and pick up the right microphone for your application. Okay, so now we're back with the Steinberg microphone and now let's jump into Zoom and start configuring things up. So the first thing that we wanna do is go into Zoom and now we need to go into our settings. So we click on this cog wheel, we go to our settings, and now there are some really important settings that need to be set up in order for this to work correctly. The first thing we need to do is go into the audio tab, and here is where we need to set up our audio interface. In this case, I'm going to use the Steinberg UR22C as my speaker so that I can hear all the attendance of the webinar through my headphones and not through the laptop speakers. Otherwise, you might get echoes or really unpleasant feedback. So I would always suggest that you keep this on Steinberg UR22C and you use headphones. Now, on the microphone settings, we also need to use the Steinberg UR22C as our microphone. This won't only record our microphone, it will also record our system audio, like anything that comes out of your DAW, like Cubase or Spotify or your web browser. The next option that you need to tick if you want to have the best audio quality, especially if you're streaming music, you need to tick Enable Stereo, as you can see right here. If you don't click on this option, then Zoom will stream everything in mono, which is not something that you really want. Now, in some cases, it might be that this option is not available in the settings. If that's the case for you, then you need to go into your web browser and log into your Zoom account. From there, you need to go to settings and then in meeting advanced. And over there you find a bunch of settings, don't worry about those. What you care about is this setting over here. Allow users to select stereo audio in their client settings. Turn this on. And this option, allow users to select original sound in their client settings. 
turn that one on as well. Now, once you've done this, this option should be available. There are a few more options that you need to check on Zoom in order to make things work smoothly. You need to go to advanced and then you need to make sure that suppress persistent background noise is disabled and also suppress intermittent background noise is also disabled. Otherwise, you will get really weird artifacts if you have a good audio interface and a good microphone. This is meant for users that use really poor audio quality microphones or internal microphones on their laptops. And this kind of helps mitigate the situation. You don't need all that with a good interface and a good microphone. So make sure they're disabled so that you have the best audio quality. So once you've done all this, you're ready to go on your webinar. Now, all you need to do is go for a new meeting, and if you've set up everything correctly, you just need to click on join with computer audio and you'll be good to go. As you can see now, when I talk, you can see the levels on my microphone right here and I can mute it, of course. And if I go to audio settings, you see that when I'm talking on my Steinberg microphone, we have our level right here. Now, because we've turned on Lubac, I can even broadcast the sound coming out of my system, like my DAW, Spotify, any app. For example, in this case, I have Spotify. I can hit play. And as you can see, I can broadcast the music that I play as well. And because I have the mix knob in the front panel of the UR22C, I can mix between my voice and the music. Which is really handy because I can do this in real time and if I want to make the music louder at some point. It's very easy to do. I have a knob right here to do this straight away. And that's it. Now I can go live on a webinar or a web conference. I hope this video was useful and I hope now you're ready to go and do a web conference or a webinar using Zoom with great quality audio. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.